Welcome Capricorn. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with using the Dragon Oracle deck, Nature's Whispers, and if I can pick it up, I'll show you some tarot. Okay, let's get into it here. Starting with the Dragon Oracle cards here. One card for Capricorn, please. Getting the right card for you, Capricorn. indeed black dragon from Saturn this says uh, so this dragon sorry brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline it says to concentrate focus on your ultimate vision congratulate yourself you have passed a test interesting Capricorn, very interesting. Let's just get this ready so we can read it at the end. Okay, Black Dragon from Saturn, card number 74. Alrighty, ready to rock and roll. Okay, so tell me more about this for Capricorn, Black Dragon from Saturn. Focus on your ultimate vision. So there's something that has gone on for you, obviously. Whether you're aware of it or not, I feel like, Capricorn, you've leveled up somehow. You have leveled up on a spiritual, in a spiritual way. Interesting. Those two have dropped out. Stay there. Okay, one more card. One more card. Dragon, but we'll see what else comes out here. That's there's too many cards. It's too many cards. One card. One more. Thank you. Okay, so we have heighten your vitality empowerment and ideal course of action this is really interesting i'm quite intrigued by this energy here capricorn i can feel this sense of empowerment here whether or not you've stepped into that is another story some of you may have or may be stepping into it some of you may yet May, sorry, I've been distracted here. Okay, some of you are potentially a bit distracted, so you are yet to realise that there is this um, this energy for you to step into. There's a lot going on around you for some of you. Let me just show you this here. Because of what I'm seeing here is all this going on in the background here. And I feel like what needs to happen for you, Capricorn, is there need that it's like you need to step into this energy here to understand that you hold the world in your hands, right? This is this is reminding me of Gemini's reading. So if you have Gemini in your chart, go and have a look at that because that was quite powerful. And um and I also felt like Sagittarius was connected to Gemini as well. So you might want to check out those readings. But I feel like when you do, see, and this talks about concentrate, focus on your ultimate vision, right? What is it? What is it that you want to create? What do, do you want your world to look like? How do you want that to vibrate out? You know, 
Um, and so it is looking at that, taking away all the things that are distracting you here, Capricorn, from doing that, okay? And these could be not necessarily, say, like um, distractions in the sense of, you know, you're busy doing other things. It could be distractions that occupy your mind um, in the sense of things that have happened in the past that could be consuming your thoughts and keeping you distracted from seeing that you have the world in your hands. You know, it, yeah, the, the, yeah. What's this down here? Can't make up that, out that picture. But yeah, there's definitely... There's something for you to step into here, and it is extremely powerful. Anyway, let's have a look. What else is here for heighten your vitality for Capricorn, please? Okay. Okay. So... Yeah, see this, I feel like it's about you needing to take some time for yourself in the sense of eliminating everything around you because I kind of feel like her holding this world in the, her hands is the light that is shining bright for this, this person to lead the way, okay? Because this person is walking through the darkness here and it may have been Capricorn that some of you have been through the darkness. You know, some of you may still be in the darkness, but what... What is important is um, that you look at, and this is this part about congratulating yourself, right? You have had the courage to grow through the cracks with virtually nothing. You have risen up into the light. This is the light that shines to lead your way. This is your light that is shining to lead the way. This is what you've accomplished. And it has been incredibly difficult. It has been such a struggle for you. Yet, you have done it. You have done it. Right? The next card we have here, it comes with this card here. And I feel like this is about connection. Whether this is connecting with another or connecting with yourself. You know, this could be the part of the mind. Because this is also, interestingly enough, this is also the Gemini card. So I feel like you need to check out that reading. Some of you may be dealing with the Gemini. Um, or as I said before, you may have Gemini in your chart. But this totality, this is completing something. And if you look at these um, not acrobats, trapeze artists, that's it. Trapezists? I don't know if that's what you call them, but anyway, you know what I mean, right? The, uh, here, the connection is almost made here, and it's sort of like this person needs to let go in order to make the leap over. There's only a small amount, but there's a fear here because if... If they miss, they're going to fall, right? It's it's like a matter of life and death here, yeah? And, um, and it's kind of like not wanting to take that leap, even though you are so incredibly close. I feel like this person here is also just wondering if, if it is the case that there could be someone in your life who is um, who you are not trusting completely. And it's not that they're not trustworthy. It's this, it's this going around and around in your mind. It's kind of like seeing how you do things. And if they don't do things exactly that way, then to you, 
that means that, that they're not taking things as seriously as what you feel they should be. But for them, they could be taking it even more seriously than what you realise. But it's just being done in a different way. I feel like there's some sort of need here to accept differences. Okay, looking at why it is that you feel that way, what it is that you need to address for yourself. You know, the lover's card is also a mirror here. A mirror of looking at, you know, people mirror us. So this is this, um, looking at what it is that could be triggering you in a sense to kind of go, okay, what do I need to work on here? Yeah, I feel like some of you feel stretched actually. You feel like you've done as much as you possibly can and you can't do any more and you need other people to come to the party in order to make things happen. But I want to say here, Capricorn, that you have need to take responsibility. The, re the responsibility is fully and utterly yours for creating the life that you want to create to heighten your vitality. That is entirely up to you and nobody else, okay? There's this compromise here. See, this is this, I always get this sense of stubbornness from this card. And these two, I don't know if you've heard me explain it before, what I get from these two. It's like I see them going to walk through a door and only one of them can fit through the door, only one at a time, and neither of them will take a step back to allow the other one to go first. So they're trying to squeeze through and it's like, nah, I'm going, nah, I'm going. And, it, you know, this is like, but this is the thing, right? There's this, there's this internal debate going on. It's like this battle. Just wonder if there's some sort of indecision happening about something. And so I suppose in that sense, the black dragon from Saturn, right, can bring you wisdom through spiritual discipline. Is it that you need to meditate to quiet in that mind, to allow yourself to drop down into your heart, to let your heart lead the way rather than the mind here, Capricorn? Is this the case? Because ultimately this is what you fear. Right? You fear dropping and crashing and burning. And maybe this has happened in, a pa in the past with relationships, right? Maybe there hasn't been the compromise and maybe there has been the stubbornness and it has caused this. Maybe it's causing it now. Maybe this is what you've risen up from. Maybe, Capricorn, you refuse to rely on anyone else. Because you've had to do this. Because of this. Right? Maybe that's the case. Maybe you've been burned and hurt so badly. That you... You refuse. You refuse to let anyone in close enough. In order to make that connection. Because it's so close. It's so close. And yet so far away. So really look at it. Look at it Capricorn. What are you truly afraid of? Where does that stem, stem from? And what work do you need to do in order to settle that? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like once you do, you'll be able to hold this world in your hand. And fully embrace it. And allow yourself to live it. Rather than just dream about it. Because mm. there's part of you that wants it. But there's part of you that is terrified. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So empowerment here. Empowerment. You see, this is it, right? This is the storm going on for you here. And you're looking over here like you want this world. You want to step into this beautiful world here. But there's this other part of you that has this storm going on. And you're shy. It's kind of like being shy to step into that. Because it's like, oh. But what if this? And last time I did, what happened? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I understand the need for protection. I understand that. But the thing is, the sun is coming out from behind the clouds here. The storm is over. The storm is over. But you won't let go of the storm. You need to let go of the storm. Um, okay, empowerment. Tell me more about this. See, this is the thing. I think some of you feel like you have let go of the storm. It's like, yeah, I've done that. But deep down inside... Deep down inside, it's still there. It's still ruling you. It's still got you. But you allow it to. Okay. And I don't mean that in a horrible way, you know, like in a mean way. Because, you know, I think we all do that to, at some point to try and protect ourselves, but it actually isn't a protection. Um, for a while there, it may have been a protection, but it becomes actually a hindrance and it stops us from moving forward. Okay, we have, have a new beginning here. Okay, an absolute, beautiful, passionate new beginning of something that is going to bring you a lot of abundance. Okay, um... It really is a matter of settling this, this fear within you, this fear of being deceived. I feel like actually wearing the mask is the deception. Wearing the mask of everything's fine. Of course I want this. Sometimes I feel like this actually represents deception of ourselves rather than other people around us deceiving us. Because the rattlesnake is obvious. When I think about a rattlesnake in the wild, it rattles its tail before it bites. Before it goes in for the, the bite, right? So there's always a warning. And I feel as though there's... When I talked about this before with this distraction or not seeing what is there, the mask has prevented the vision of seeing what is there. So this is about being honest with yourself. About where there have been warnings in the past that you didn't see potentially. And that's not to say it was your fault, but just be honest with yourself and go, yeah, I kind of did. There was that little thing, you know. And see how that is holding you back from going forward now, okay? Because there is that fear of this happening again, okay? So, see, yeah, this, this um, also is this sort of fear of standing out. Um, not standing out from the crowd because I feel like that would be okay but there's a fear of being seen not being able to retreat back there's some sort of denial here too of walking blindly in a sense of not being aware not being conscious not being um sort of like creating by default in a sense and so I feel like it's a matter of you needing to come into the present moment okay so this is moment to moment and I feel like this is about you being aware of what it is that you want to create okay because if you do that blindly it's very easy to go back into 
what has once been been if that is still um, prevalent within you. If there is the fear of that happening, it is still there for you. We attract what we fear, right? Because that's where our, our energy is focused. So that's where it flows to. So this is something that needs to be put to rest for you here, Capricorn, in order for you to do what, you know, in order for you to step into this empowerment here and release yourself from the storm, which was this, okay? Yeah, opening up here. See, this is really interesting because in this round of readings, I'm seeing this. I can't remember if the last round as well, but definitely this round is closed off, closed off in your heart. There's nothing that can come through here. The channel is not open in order to allow things to filter through. Okay, this we have this patience here. It takes time to to grow things it takes time to nurture things okay Capricorn so that is very important because you have this rebirth card here um the, what has happened is already done it's it's done it's now time to allow yourself to rise up step into this empowerment here okay rise up and allow the music within you to be played to come out to be heard. Ideal course of action here. See, this is what I feel like this is saying. Focus on your ultimate vision. What is that, Capricorn? What is your ultimate vision here, right? What is it that you want to create? You know, we've got this dandelion here in this card. You know, when we were kids, it was blow on the dandelion and make a wish, right? And and it got carried out. And wherever it landed, that was where your wish grew. Tell me more about ideal course of action, Capricorn. I feel like some of you are contemplating this. I'll just pick this card up off the floor. Okay, so we have... Yeah, we have stress here. This is trying to balance everything. I think some of you may need to delegate some stuff um, to others, okay, to let go. The pressure, there's this sort of pressure here um, that has come in. Um, even in choosing this ideal course of action, because it's like you're not sure which way to go, and it's, it's this... Thing of like, oh my gosh, what if this, what if that, what if that? Because in the past, there was this other stuff that happened and look what I had to do to come out of it, you know? Um, and so this is really important for you to take some time out here. Take some time out to really consider and contemplate what it is that you want to, actually what you want your world to look like, right? How are you going to heighten that vitality? You know, this, this, how are you going to color in your world? What is that? What does that picture look like for you here, Capricorn? Okay, what are the possibilities? Rise above, rise above the terrain. You know, sometimes it can help to start from the end and make your way back rather than starting from where you are and trying to see how you would get to the end. Try that, you know, do things in reverse a little bit to see if that helps you, okay? We have integration here, and this is using all the tools that you have and all the people around you that you have, right, trusting in people around you to realize that they are working with you here, Capricorn. They're not working against you. They're working with you. They want you to connect. They want this to happen for you. There are people that have your back. I think it's, it's you that needs to trust you. Okay, so what do we have next? Sorry, I've got the wrong cards here. Um, yeah, see, look, look here. This is going to be successful if you allow yourself to ride this journey. If you have faith in yourself, right? If you allow yourself to take this trans, to allow, sorry, to allow this transformation to take place. 
because some of you are fighting it because of the fear because you've been through the storm and it was rough it was rough it was one heck of a storm boy oh boy was it you ended up having to abandon ship and jump into a lifeboat and even then that wasn't really equipped to help you through the storm that you've been through right so it's it hasn't been easy so please understand i'm not minimizing anything here for you oh wow wow but there is this huge beginning here right huge it's passionate it's honest it's everything you dreamed of it's something you can create so it really is about you doing what you need to do in order to create this for yourself here, Capricorn. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at the book here for a Black Dragon from Saturn. Okay. Okay, so brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline. Concentrate, focus on your ultimate vision. Congratulate yourself. You have passed a test. About this card, fifth dim dimensional black dragons work directly with ma the masters of Quishy. Oh, that's such so cute. I could imagine the dragon being called Quishy. <laughs> anyway, the ascended aspect of Saturn. They help us to organize and apply ourselves to, to tasks, however small or large they may be. Black indicates a feminine energy of rest, peace, and calm, which enables the wisdom to come forward. It could not do so if there was too much masculine thrust. These dragons work with Archangel Gabriel, who radiates pure white light. He is an overall charge of the base center, where we hold fifth dimensional spiritual discipline. This is what enables all the fifth dimensional chakras to anchor. Archangel Gabriel's energy balances that of the black dragons of Saturn. These dragons also carry the pure violet flame of transmutation. Yes, which is held in Saturn and use it to dissolve thoughts that are not focused on the ultimate vision. Perfect. That's exactly what needs to happen here. Okay, so the guidance of this card. A black dragon from Saturn has appeared to you now, as it is time for you to address tasks with discipline and focus. Spiritual discipline is vital to ground the higher energies on your pathway. The black dragon will give you focus, concentration, determination, awareness, and the ability to plan and stick to a routine where necessary. Receiving this card is a true blessing, as it indicates that your feet are firmly planted on your ascension path, and you do everything for the highest good of all. This dragon also brings you congratulations from the angelic world, as you have passed a test you have been undergoing. It is time to celebrate your success and step forward with discipline as well as with joy and bliss. I love that Capricorn. That is absolutely perfect for you. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.